On today's origin episode of YYE, You're Young in Eglinton, we're speaking with the mother-daughter duo of Anicia and Aisha Luby. They're the owners of Crown and Glory Natural Hair Studio, and they tell us how it all began for them. So um, Aisha and Anicia, welcome back to YYE. And uh, I like to do these kind of follow-up episodes to get an idea as to how this all started. So if you wouldn't mind, and I know in the previous episode you mentioned two and a half years, I think. Hmm. It started as an idea for sure. I was working at a salon. I, I kind of hopped through different salons in Toronto and I recognized that there really wasn't a salon that catered to hair like me. Like, if I needed my hair done, I couldn't go somewhere. And even the salons that I was working in, I found they weren't really doing what I could do or what I could bring to the forefront. So I sought out, you know, um, locations and just kind of planned without planning. I was like, it's going to happen one day, maybe 10 years down the line, but I kept my mind open and it happened in like three years, like less than three years. And it was like, it was meant to be like, I needed to have a salon. I found the space right away. The name came to me, like everything just kind of fell into place. And I was like, this is, this is meant to be. Good and of course, I have to bring <laughs> my mama with me because I learned it all from her. Yeah. It's been about 10 years now. Okay. And um, I did hear from a young girl. Um, I didn't charge anybody. Had I had known I would have a business, <laughs> <laughs> I would have been charging five dollars, please. Yes. Um, but yeah. And maybe got into the hair industry because of maybe your background as me well. Doing it at home, mm -hmm. watching me doing it at home. Mm -hmm. yeah. tell, tell us a bit more about that. Um, there's nothing to tell, really. <laughs> I did it for a while. Um, I stopped doing it because I hated it after a while. Can you do my hair? It's always like last minute type of bookings. And I was mm -hmm. at home with the young ones and it wasn't like the mm -hmm. most comfortable space. And so I hated it, just the whole setting of it. So I stopped. Okay. And then I actually got back into it because um, there was a salon that was looking for help and I wasn't working at the time. So I said, OK, I'll give it a try and did it and then ended up branching off from there and going to other salons and then going to hair school and mm -hmm. then starting here. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So following in mom's footsteps to, to a degree. A hundred percent. That's all I saw growing up, right? Her doing yeah. my, my family's hair, um, friend's hair. And she always had such patience and she was so neat. I was like, Hmm, I could do that. Okay. I didn't think I was going to be a, a hairstylist per se, but I wanted to have the skill that she had. Now I'm in a space that I can do it. It's a little bit different. I can interact with people better. Mm -hmm. It's more fun. Aisha, if you don't mind me asking, what gave you the confidence to go from being an employee, like working at a salon or whatever the case is, but somebody else is kind of running the show to starting your own business? Well, I've always kind of been a boss. So when I was younger, I always was the one who would take charge. If we were put in a group in school, I'd be like, I'm the team leader. This is what you're doing. This is what you're doing. <laughs> and so it kind of, it, it, it didn't require confidence. It was just natural for me. And I never really did well with having a boss. And being the oldest of four probably didn't have anything to do with that either, right? Eh? <laughs> probably. Yeah. <laughs> probably. Mom, probably. Mom, no. <laughs> okay, I, I feel like I have that same mentality though. Like I feel like I can't be in a space where someone's like talking over me and or yeah. talking down to me. So I I think she's mm -hmm. got that for me. Prefers to be in charge. In charge. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Good for you. Well, listen, thank you so much for, again for, for sharing all of that and, and uh, wish you and, and your business here at Crown Glory all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. <laughs>